Okay, so now we're going to introduce oxidation reduction reactions. This is a, a, um, a special sort of subset of, of types of reactions. Uh, an example from your own experience in life is rust. Rust forms when oxygen in the air reacts with iron. Okay, in this process, electrons are transferred from one substance to another, and we're going to call it an oxidation reduction reaction. All right, so our learning goal is to define the terms oxidation and reduction, and then to identify substances that are being oxidized or reduced. That's the learning goal. So, <clears throat> example, as I said before, oxidation reduction. Another example, I'm sorry, uh, I said before it was rust, but another example is getting energy from food. And so it turns out much of the reactions that happen in your cells are oxidation reduction reactions. Another example is getting electrical energy from, from batteries. Okay, so these oxidation reactions are all around us, very important, and that's why we get a special, um, special sub-lecture just on oxidation reduction reactions. So an oxidation reduction reaction occurs when electrons, which I'm going to write, which I'm going to use this as an electron, right, is transferred from one, uh, from one reactant to another. Okay, and so the reduced reactant is the one that's the that, get, that gets the negative charge. You see that? That negative charge that goes over there and so we would say it's reduced. The other one's oxidized, okay? Oxidation is loss of electrons. Oil. Oxidation is loss of electrons. Reduction reduction is gain of electrons. Rig. Reduction is gain. Oil rig. And that's a good, um, I, it's a good mnemonic that, that I've used over the years. There's a couple different ones, but that's my favorite. So the green patina, as an example, on the, um, on the Statue of Liberty is due to the oxidation of copper metal, right? So copper metal has an oxidation state of zero, right? Copper. And it becomes Cu2 plus when it donates electrons. Right, so electrons leave. <coughs> uh, copper starts out as zero, and it it uh, it goes to two plus. Oxygen starts out at zero, it goes to two minus. Right, and so copper is oxidized because it loses electrons, and oxygen, which goes from zero to two minus, is reduced. Right, because it gains electrons. All right, another example of that, which I'm going to leave off. This is in your textbook. I'm going to leave that off. Let's go straight to a learning check. Identify each of the following as an oxidation or reduction. So pause the video and come back here and compare your answers to mine. Okay, so first of all, let me suppose you paused it. First of all, can you see that tin here loses electrons? And therefore, it's oxidation. Oxidation is loss of electrons. Iron goes from 3 plus to 2 plus. So it actually is reduced, right? Because it gains electrons. There's my electron that's gaining. So this is a reduction. And then finally, chlorine goes from an oxidation state of 0 to a minus 1. That is a reduction. Another way to see that is by looking at the side of the electrons. Reductions, the electrons are in the, in the um, reactants. Oxidation, it's in the products. Okay, now oftentimes we don't see that though because the reactions are coupled, so you won't see the electrons. But if you see electrons, you, you can, it's, it becomes very easy. Oxidation is when the electrons are in the products. Okay, table 7.4 gives a nice little summary. Oxidation always involves loss of electrons. Reduction always involves gain of electrons. It oftentimes, oxidation, oxidation, my colors are not, I'm not being very useful with my colors, am I? Let's go with yellow for oxidation, okay? So oxidation always includes loss of electrons, oftentimes includes addition of oxygen. That's what we call it, oxidation. Or the loss of hydrogen, okay? Reduction always involves the gain of electrons. It often involves the gain of hydrogen or the loss of oxygen, okay? So very important process in, in your cells is when uh, the coenzyme FAD, flavin, adenine, dinucleotide, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, 
it uh, it's a coenzyme in your in your cells and two hydrogen atoms there's a two hydrogen atoms right there they've got the little electrons on top of them two hydrogen atoms go and sit on top of this coenzyme and there they are right there right see it there they are and it becomes FADH2 and that is a reduction because we are gaining two hydrogen atoms right in the previous slide let me go back to the previous slide for a second remember that reduction sometimes includes the gain of hydrogen right there we are right there okay so an example is FAD in your cells going from FAD to FADH2 okay so um, more examples in biochemistry uh, oxidation reduction reactions methyl alcohol uh, gets gets uh, decomposed to formaldehyde and 2H, right? Uh, formaldehyde is oxidized with oxygen, right? Can you see we're, in, we're, we're adding oxygen to it? That's an oxidation, okay? Another example of formic acid, which is the ants, the, the, um, in the poison of ants, it gets it oxidized by adding two oxygens and it forms carbon dioxide and water. By the way, this is, car this is combustion also, right? You see that? These are all oxidation reactions because we're adding oxygen. Okay. Um, yeah, the intermediates of these re, uh, products. Their inter intermediate products are toxic, causing headaches and possible death because they interfere with key reactions in cells. Formaldehyde, bad. Formic acid, bad. But carbon dioxide and water are not so bad. So your body takes care of. Uh, um, your body takes care of formaldehyde by those previous reactions. Okay, the particular definition. Let's close this out now. The particular definition of oxidation and reduction depends on the process that occurs in the reaction. So oxidation always involves the loss of electrons. Reduction always involves the gain of electrons. Oftentimes, the uh, oxidation involves the addition of oxygen or the loss of hydrogen and reduction in biochemical processes especially can be seen as the loss of oxygen or the gain of hydrogen. All right, we'll get more, more practice with this in our homework.